Hey guys, fucking Dave here. Welcome to another episode of Take 5. Let's dive right in, like I always say. Pick five random horror DVDs out of this tote. In under five minutes, I'm going to talk about them. Um, the Curse of El Charo. The killer is played by um, Andre... Andrew, sorry... Uh, Brenerski, I can never remember how to pronounce that. He played Zangief in the Street Fighter movie and Leatherface in the remake. Um, and if you're a fan of him, even though he's kind of a douchebag in real life, um, I don't remember much about this, but kind of cliche. Honestly, yeah, don't, don't, re actually, yeah, I remember nothing about this, so I don't recommend it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Moving on. Yes, I have seen the majority of the movies I own. I just have a shit memory, and a lot of them are bad and not worth remembering. Unlike Compound Fracture. Nothing great or anything, but um, I was actually surprised um, that this one was pretty good. Uh, it's got Tyler Mayne and Muse Watson in it, and... Um, what's his name? Oh my god, I'm running out of time here. Derek Mears, sorry. Derek Mears as the killer. Obviously him, right there. Um, pretty good. Nothing great or amazing, but like I said, you got nothing better to do. Check it out. Let's go for number three. Pitchfork. This was a blind buy, and I regretted it. The director did the cinematography on a lot of really big budget movies. So, this looks amazing. The cinematography is so good. So good. Too good for a movie like this. Because everything else about it is completely awful. The killer is a joke. Just laughably bad. Um, same with everything else. I think I remember there being some line dancing in it. And uh, that's really all you need to know. Is um, that uh, fuck this movie. And I want my $4.99 back. God damn it. That's why I don't blind buy stuff anymore. Because I just get stuck with it. And then I dig it up later in a stupid review series. And then I just get mad all over again. Kind of like Slaughterhouse of the Rising Sun. I remember it just being really surreal. Just a whole bunch of nonsense. None of it really went together. It wasn't a slasher movie like I thought it was going to be, like you would think from the cover and the title. I remember it being a huge waste of fucking goddamn time. Now I'm just getting angry. So let's do one more, and it better be a winner. But I don't like my chances. I'm not even going to look. I'm not even going to look. Well, that's not the front cover at all. Let's turn it around. Primeval. Okay. Killer alligator crocodile. Okay. Killer crocodile movie. Um, Big budget crocodile movie. You don't see too many of those. It went theatrical. My problem with this one is the trailers uh, were just like, he killed this many people. He killed blah, blah, blah. Like, they didn't even say that it was a killer crocodile. I almost thought it was a slasher or a crime drama. And then it comes out and it's a fucking killer crocodile movie. So it's like, okay. I mean, if you just, I like killer crocodile movies, so just tell me that. Why do you gotta lie about it? Um, it turns out it, it was pretty good. Nothing great or amazing. Um, it was nice to see Dominic Purcell and Orlando Jones in it. Uh, those two deserve bigger roles. Um, worth a watch. You know, I actually haven't seen this one in a while, so I might rewatch this soon, just because. You could do worse as far as uh, killer animal movies, trust me, as you'll find out. So, all right, guys, till next time, I'm going to cut it off here. So thanks for watching. If you're liking these videos, let me know on the Facebook uh, page or in the comments below, blah, 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 all that bullshit. So. I'll see you next time.